I want to show you how to play that. Now, unfortunately, there's not time in this mini lesson to show you that whole thing. Um, there's not time to show you this bit. But there is time to show you this bit. I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. You wanted to learn that bit as well, but um, it, it would just take too long to do all that in one go. So I'm going to show you this, um, this rock and roll rhythm. And that's really fun to play, and that's a lot of fun. And you can get people singing along um, to that. And if you want to learn the whole Johnny Be Good song, then I suggest you go onto the website and find it on the archive. And there's a whole full length video guitar lesson where there's time to explain the whole thing to you. Okay, so let's begin. Um, I'm going to play this thing in slow motion through to you so you, you really understand what I'm doing. Um, so it goes like this. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll just give you a, a clue. Keep an eye on my right hand, and you'll see that I'm using palm muting. Um, to make it sound sort of chunkier, like I explained when we learned how to do power chords. Okay, so let me play it through to you so you can see what I'm doing. So that is known as a 12-bar sequence. You've probably heard of the 12-bar blues. And really, rock and roll and blues are cousins. Um, really, blues is just a slower version of rock and roll. For example... That's like a blues rhythm, and a rock and roll is the same thing, but faster. Like that, okay? So I hope you get the idea. So let me begin by explaining exactly what it is I'm doing. So if you take your first finger and put it on the fourth string of fret two, and what I'm going to ask you to do is to pluck the fifth string and the fourth string. Now, of course, the fifth string is open at this stage, so it'll sound like this. Good. And you can do that twice. Now what I want you to do is to take your third finger and put it onto the fourth string at fret four. <coughs> Now, of course, we don't need this note anymore. I mean, generally, I tend to actually leave it on there, but it makes no difference. So we're going to pluck the fifth string open now and the fourth string at fret four. And now I'm going to ask you to go back to fret two again. So I hope that makes sense. If we join it together, it should sound like this. OK. Now, what I'm going to ask you to do is to play it twice. Okay, now listen carefully to me now. When you play it twice, that is one bar in length. Because in music, we call a length of music, uh, <coughs> we measure it in bars and beats. Now, I want you to remember that that is one bar in length. Okay, now here's the thing. I'm going to ask you to play four bars. So it should sound like this. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I think it does because you can see the numbers at the bottom of the screen. Now, of course, when you speed it up, that will actually go by really quickly. So that's the first four bars of the sequence. And that shape that we've just done, we're going to call an A. And the reason for that is because the fifth string open is an A, and that is the root note. Um, so what we've done there is like a simple chord. So now we're going to move to a D. And what that means is we're going to move down the string. Now the fourth string open is now the root note. And of course, the fourth string open is a D. And we've got our first finger now on the third string of fret two. And essentially, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Obviously, we're plucking the fourth string and the third string now. And I'm going to ask you to play two bars on the D. So up to this point, we've got four bars of A and two four bars, bars of D. Now we're going to move our finger back again, back to the A. So we're now on the fourth string at fret two again, and we're plucking fifth string open and the fourth string. <laughs> so 
So that was two bars of A, okay? I hope you're following this, all right? And if not, don't worry, because I'll run through it again in a second. So what we're going to do now is go to an E, and it couldn't be simpler. You're just going to move your first finger to the fifth string, fret two, and the sixth string is open. And of course, the sixth string open is an E. So you're going to pluck the sixth string and the fifth string for one bar. I hope, I hope you're following this and of course if you need to pause it and just you know and just catch up that's absolutely fine but I'll keep going for the second um, we're gonna go to the D again now for another bar so that's the third string at fret 2 and the fourth string open and now we're gonna go back to the A for one bar and then we're gonna finish on the E for one bar Okay, now don't worry if you haven't memorised all that straight away, I wouldn't expect you to, but you might have noticed that that adds up to 12 bars, so let me talk you through that again. We've got four bars of A. Good. And it might be worth me pointing out, you might have noticed I'm using palm muting. Uh, remember we learned that when we learned the power chords. I'm touching gently with the palm of my hand, um, just on the strings a little bit, enough to dampen the notes. Because otherwise, if we didn't use the palm muting, it would sound like this. And it doesn't quite sound as cool, okay? So we've done the four bars of A, just to refresh your memory, onto two bars of D. to two bars of A. One bar of E. One bar of D. One bar of A. One bar of E. Okay, I'm going to play you this now a little bit faster. So... see that it sounds really cool once you get it up to that speed so it's going to take a bit of practice for you to get it like that you know don't expect to get it perfect straight away it took me a lot of time to practice and get it that smooth okay so be patient with yourself I'm going to play it now at full speed so you can really get a feel for the energy <laughs> I spiced it up a lot there I put a lot of extra notes in it to make it sound even more interesting but you know you can work towards that I want you to start simple get the hang of that and then you'll find that once you've got it everything else will start to flow and all these other little interesting bits and pieces will start to come together and make sense so you know what you got to do now you got to go and practice it and get it nice and smooth take your time be patient go and get on with it it'll be worth it in the end if you want to learn Johnny Be Good it's on the website on vguitarlessons.com look on the archive and you can learn you know.